Welcome back to the Portal Report Head Coach Showcase Series. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, Coach Stan Gerard from Southern Indiana Basketball. Coach, thank you so much for joining me, man. I'm a super Thank excited. you. Thank you, guys. It's an honor to be here, and uh, I'm delighted. So thank you for having me. Of course, man. So last year, your Screaming Eagles made the jump up to D1. Uh, I guess, you know, here we are in the, in the middle of the summer after your first season at the D1 level here um, as a head coach. Have you had time to look back on it and, and really dive into the differences between D2 and D1? How was this offseason and how was last year? Yeah, we, we had a lot of time to, you know, digest the past, this past season. Um, spent a lot of time just trying to, you know, regroup, of course, but also uh, evaluate the guys that's coming back. Uh, evaluate us as a coaching staff and make sure we put our best foot forward to be uh, even more competitive next year. Um, the all season, of course, as you see, has been really good for us uh, with the additions. Uh, lost a lot, but at the same time, we've done a great job of, um, you know, filling some boys uh, in this roster. So um, it's been busy, uh, but it's a good problem to have. Uh, I feel like we have a great product uh, on paper right now that uh, we're going to be able to put out on the floor uh, this, this season, and we're excited about it. Of course, man. And, and when it comes to recruiting, that jump from D1 to D2, or D2 to D1, sorry, what was, uh, you know, the differences that you saw in your recruiting process as a staff uh, after going from D2 to D1? Was there a lot of change? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of change because now you're looking at a whole different type of player. You know, as good as D2 was for us in the GLVC, um, you know, you, you have to – get players that are a lot better than that, you know, not, not to say those guys from the GOVC couldn't play at this level, but at the same time, you know, you look at our schedule last year, Missouri, Notre Dame, St. Bonaventure, you know, that was a very tough schedule. And, you know, I always say, you know, some of the young men that played for us, you know, when we were D2 uh, could play here, but some could not. And that's no knock on anybody. Um, but we have to be more intentional in our recruiting now that we're Division I. Um, and have to realize that, you know, because Southern Indiana is recruiting those guys, that doesn't mean we're going to get them. When we were D2, um, we, we targeted some kids that we knew that were D2, some high-profile type guys, and, and we knew we can get those guys because of the success we had as a Division II institution. You know, now we go from being the, the big fish in a small pond of D2 to the small fish in the big pond of D1, and we, we have to realize that and really do a great job of just having – uh, more guys on our list to recruit because at any given time, you know, the likes of uh, the mid-major, the high-major programs can come in and take a kid if they think he's, you know, he think they think if they think he's worthy of of, of, of playing there. So, uh, but my staff, you know, Coach Bruins, Coach Aldrich, uh, Coach Moore, has done a great job of, of identifying some guys that we targeted um, in the offseason and. Um, we didn't get everybody we, we, we sought out to get, but the guys we have, uh, they're happy to be here, and uh, we're happy to have them. Of course, man. So I'll get into some of those transfer additions here shortly, but I do want to ask, when you're recruiting the transfer portal, uh, when you guys as a staff have you know scoured the portal and gone through it, what's the process like, and, and how quick does that relationship start to build with these transfers? Well, I, I call it speed dating because a lot of these kids um, – that's in the portal we don't know you know right. but there are some that we recruited out of high school that we had a relationship with uh prior to those guys hitting the portal um we put together some stuff uh once we do find a potential recruit uh, we get on the phone with them do a zoom phone call of course and then we you know visit with the families and then hopefully get them in but i think it's important we as a staff uh we do our homework um and we, you know, we try to find out as much as we can about a potential student athlete before we bring them in and make sure we're getting a good product, not just from a basketball standpoint. So, you know, there's so many things that you have to think about once you start recruiting a young man. You know, first question I ask my assistant coaches is what kind of kid is he? Right. Um, is he a guy that can fit into our culture? But also, who's recruiting him? You know, I think that's very important. Um if we fall into a situation where uh, a young man is being recruited by high major programs, then we don't waste our time because we know that the high major programs have offered this young man and 
uh, we're kind of wasting our time. So we got to, you know, try to do a great job of comparing apples to apples to make sure we have our fair shot and not just spinning our wheels. So one of the guys that obviously checked all the boxes this year, Jordan Tillman, uh, coming in from Florida A&M, mm-hmm. six foot two guard, averaged almost 11 points per game this season. How did that all play out with Jordan? Was his recruitment process, you know, just like that framework, like the first call, the visit, the family visit? How did that recruitment process play out? Um, it, it was a long process. You know, uh, I think the biggest thing with Jordan, in Jordan's case, was me establishing a personal relationship with him. Um, I think we spent, gosh, at least five or six hours, he and I on the phone, um, of just talking and getting to know each other. Uh, talked to both mom and dad a number of times, talked to his high school coach, his AAU coach, some of his friends, uh, just to build a personal relationship. You know, I think that's, that's huge. Uh, once he came to campus, you know, uh, again, my assistant coaches did a wonderful job of, you know, throughout the process. But once he came to campus, I was really more hands-on with this one because I knew how important, um, you know, just getting a, a quality guard like Jordan Tillman um, in our program, you know, we spent Saturday, Sunday together. You know, I personally took him to the airport, sat there with him for a little while until he got taken off. And once he went home, I didn't let the, let any time uh, in between him getting home with his family and, and um, him being away from us, you know, die down. I wanted to make sure I stayed, you know, on him. And uh, I didn't press him. Uh, I knew it was his decision. But at the same time, our relationship, I think, is what made the deal uh, happen. Man, it's really cool to hear the the different processes that each of these kids go through, obviously, um, in the portal, because some of these kids are committing without visiting to a lot of places. Uh, You know, coaches are trying to get to know kids, but sometimes when it's that quick and you really want a guy, it's just call him up, see if he's interested. If he's not, forget it. You know, it's it's a really quick process. But uh, Nolan Coswell, another guy you guys are bringing in, Tennessee Tech, six foot ten, big man. What's he going to bring to your front court this upcoming season? Well, Nolan, uh, I'm sure you're going to bring Xavier McCord at some point as well. But Nolan was at um, at, at, at school, and, and, I, and he, he and uh, Xavier played together junior college ball. And uh, we recruited, you know, both of those guys um, when they were at junior college. And, and Nolan, I think he committed to Tennessee Tech sight unseen. And, um, you know, we had a visit set up with Nolan last year before going before committing to Tennessee Tech. And uh, he was a guy that we really spent a lot of time, you know, going out to see him in uh, Wyoming uh, at his junior college, uh, possibly become a, a, a member of our basketball team at USI this past season. You know, fast forward, um, he goes to Tech, uh, wasn't happy there, and hit the portal. And I think we were his first phone call once he hit the portal. And I won't say it's an easy process, but it was very smooth because of the previous relationship. Um, he's going to bring, of course, size and experience to the table. Uh, Nolan uh, has some great genes in his basketball family. His dad, Dwayne Coswell, played in the NBA uh, for a number of years. Um, but his size, of course, is very attractive um, uh, to us. And, you know, he can, you know, go inside and, and do some things. But he's also a guy that can stretch the floor for us. Um, I think he can be a rim protector. Uh, but I think all those tangibles that he brings to the table is going to really help us out with what we lost last year in Polakovich and, and Lakes and Simmons. Right. And so you mentioned him a little bit there, Xavier McCord uh, from Laramie County CC out in Wyoming. Uh, he's a high volume scorer, uh, 6'3 guard. You know, he put up some stellar numbers in Juco and had a lot of D1s calling him up. So how do you guys recruit a JUCO kid where that run probably have more time than just when they enter the portal, everyone calls right away. I think in this case, man, it helped that Nolan was already considering coming here. There you go. And we had Xavier on campus and those two guys are texting back and forth about, uh, you know, trying to re- uh, get back together and, and, and play together again. And in fact, they both announced their commitment on the same day. They're pretty tight. They're going to be roommates. So I think it helped that we recruited, you know, Nolan. And like I said, those two guys kind of recruited each other to come here. And hopefully they had a success here that they had at, uh, at, at Laramie Community College before uh, coming to USI. But like you said, man, Xavier's a high volume scorer, big time athlete that plays above the rim, especially in transition. And with our style of play in terms of uh, our transition, I think it's going to benefit his game a whole lot. 
Yeah, you talked about your style of play. Is that something that comes up in that first conversation with oh, the recruit? Absolutely. Okay. absolutely. We always talk about, you know, uh, holding guys accountable on the defensive end and having a little bit more freedom on the offensive end. And that's important to a lot of young men. You know, we're a very up-tempo style of team. And, um, you know, we try to, you know, allow our defense to to transition to our offense. But we play fast, you know. You know, if the team you score or miss the basketball, we try to get out and go and transition. And uh, we give our guys a ton of freedom to, you know, go out and play their game without us breathing down their backs a lot. And hopefully, you know, in practice, we do it. We, 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 we've done a great, great enough job to – a lot of these guys to trust their decision making and and, and and lead each other in a positive way. And uh, you know, Jordan Tillman, our guys um who were here a year ago, Jeremiah Hernandez, uh, Jack Campion has done a great job in, in, in terms of their leadership skills. Jack Milky, uh just trying to get these guys to understand what we need from those guys as co- as, as student athletes. But more importantly, you know, just trying to build a bond and, and make us a player led basketball team. And that's going to be important for us this year. 100%, man. And, and another addition you guys brought in, a national champion, uh, Yaren Hassan, uh, 6'9 forward from, his, from Israel, uh, coming in from UConn, I believe. Uh, Coach John picked him up last week. He's uh, you know, on campus from, from what I've seen. What kind of addition is that to bring in a national champion, um, you know, obviously, to your program? Well, I, I know Yaren didn't play very much there, but Every experience that he had while at, you know, UConn is going to be great for our, for our team because he's seen a lot. He, he knows how to win. He knows what it takes to win and play for a great coach uh, there at UConn and, and with some great players. So he can bring that experience to the table uh, with his size and ability to stretch the floor at six foot nine. Um, I think once he, his game catches up, I mean, his body catches up with his game, uh, he's going to be a great basketball player for us. He's still young um, and, and trying to figure it out. But, you know, it's our job as coaches to try to, you know, help him get acclimated as soon as possible. Um, we picked him up last week. He started a week late. So he's a little bit behind right now, but we have plenty of time to get him get him acclimated to what we're trying to get done here. Um, when he hit the portal, uh, we knew his handler, um, you know, from from years ago, reached out to him and, you know, it was a process where he had a lot of schools kind of recruit them. And I'm just happy to say that we won that won that battle and trying to get him here on campus. And he's here and he's now screaming eagle. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of um, surreal because, you know, he's a national champion. He was at the White House a few weeks ago. We talked about that in practice the other day about what you experienced at the White House. And um, we're just happy to have him. And I give a lot of credit to my coaching staff for, you know, we all put our hands in the fire and, and, and made sure he was a screaming eagle. And uh, I'm just happy that my coaching staff were, they were great throughout the process and he's here now and we're just happy to have him. Well, Coach, you guys got the job done in the portal this off season. Congratulations on a, on a good start to this next season. Um, we'll be watching you guys here at the Portal Report, uh, you know, trying to improve from last year's first season in D1, which went great, 9-9 nine nine in the OVC. But um, what do you have to say to the fans uh, of Southern Indiana that are going to be tuning in that you want to get into your stadium for this season? Oh, trust the process. You know, uh, this is only year two um, uh, of us being at this level. Uh, and it's a process. You know, you look at, you know, some of the teams that have made the jump. You know, teams have had success. The teams has also uh, struggled. You know, I love what we did last year, uh, but there's more to come. You know, we um, – our guys, I, I give those guys on my team from this past season a lot of credit for coming in, hitting the ground running, and taking it upon themselves to be as great as we were last year. And I think it's only going to get better. You know, we brought some great players in, but it's not going to be the same. You know, we lost a young man last year in Jacob Polakovic. That was the second leading rebound in the country. You know, that's that comes around every once in a while. And hopefully we do a great enough job in the portal this year. They've done a great enough job in the portal this year to, you know, fill some voids where, you know, those guys who left the program left off. But it's going to be a process. There's going to be some good days and bad days, and hopefully the good outweighs the bad. Um, we have a great product. We have uh, great facilities, um, a great fan base, a great administration, uh, great coaches across the board. And I think we're going to do great things here. It's just going to take some time. And, um, you know, 
with us having the success we had last year in, in the league in league play, uh, playing in the CBI tournament, you know, I, I know it's easy to to want more right away, but it's, it's going to take time. And I'm just I'm blessed to lead this program in the direction that we're going into. And um, I'm excited about this season. And it's going to be a fun year for us as we uh, embark on year two at this level. And I think good things are going to happen for us. There you have it. Thank you so much, Coach, Thank for you. joining me today. Um, we'll stay in touch, man, and, uh, you know, keep up the good work. Good luck. Thank this you. Season. All right. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys. And, and you guys have done a great job with putting out information to make our jobs easier, man. We, we live in the portal. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to rebuild this roster. Uh, we lived in the portal. Uh, we were in this in this on this site pretty much all day, four or five times a day. And, and thank you guys for what you do. Uh, your work can't go unnoticed, and I'm real grateful to you guys for what you're doing. Oh, I appreciate that so much, man. Thank really, you. thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Appreciate of you. Course.